Middlesex Seven, so uh, this, this weekend comes um, back to Twickenham every year, a wonderful occasion. Uh, a group of about 30 officials will be down there, all from London Society. It's one of the top tournaments in England to officiate at, and London Society are part of that. And as a London member, I get invited along too. <laughs> The London Society is one of the oldest societies in the country. I think it's the oldest society, actually. Well over 100 years. Uh, we've been providing referees and, and more latterly, touch judges and assistant referees uh, for games of rugby throughout the London area. Um, and that's what we exist for. We're here tonight uh, for a briefing, really, of those officials, the best officials in the society, who are turning out on Saturday um, to officiate the Middlesex Sevens, which is an annual event held at Twickenham a national competition. We're very privileged to be able to, to manage this, but we, we look forward to that. And so what we're going to do tonight is to brief our referees and touch judges and make sure that we're ready for the event on Saturday, give the best performance that we can. I've been preparing for today since probably around um, May time, I think, because there's a, there's a considerable lead time on kit deliveries, and that's one of the big and most important things of today. So that's when the preparation really starts for it. In terms of other preparation, um, basically things like radios, food, um, physiotherapists, administrators, all the other background stuff that goes on um, without many of these people really knowing it. Um, I've been preparing that probably over the last month, six weeks or so, depending on which bits. My role is to assess performance of the referees, uh, not quite as harsh as it sounds. Um, I will be looking at performance and uh, just taking any notes that may be helpful to the referee when they come off the field. So uh, it's very much a support and uh, coaching role really rather than assessing. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a critical part of the game, the referee, because you know, a bit like the players and their core skills being under the, mag the microscope and how one, one mistake often causes a try, it's the same for the referees. You know, they've got to be spot on, very clear in what they're, they're trying to, to see happen at the breakdown, communicate with the players, because if they get a call wrong, it could lead to a try which could influence the game. So they're fundamental to, uh, to, to the game and, and, and even more so in, in the game of sevens. Well, I think I mean, now that the sevens is an Olympic sport, uh, we've, we're already seeing this year an emergence of uh, support from players and supporters. It's becoming much more popular. The media are getting much more interested. Some players are actually now focusing on being sevens players and to not to the exclusion of 15, but more on the sevens side so that they can get the Olympic gold medal. The home of English rugby. Um, so it's wonderful to be here. I'm one of the touch judges on the touch judging team. So I'll be uh, running the line and behind in goal. It is my first, well, first time in the bowels of Twickenham and enjoying a uh, centre field. Well, I would say, I guess, coming as an ex-player, um, having some experience with playing and having some empathy with players is, is key for me. Um, again, you know, being up with play, being there, you know, being, you know, trying to be positive with players, giving them plenty of, you know, warnings, trying to, trying to not penalise them, trying not trying to catch them out, but trying to just help them. Uh, and that, for me, I think is sort of key. Uh, it's my fourth year doing the sevens, so it's been a huge privilege. Today, I'm uh, first game refereeing later on this afternoon. Uh, trying to treat it like a, any other normal game, but obviously it's, a, it's an occasion. Uh, willingness to learn from mistakes, to be honest and say I've made some mistakes. Try and understand where you went wrong and learn from it and just keep an open mind, uh, stay fit, uh, keep up to date with the changes of the game and just really have a passion for it. I feel that I've benefited from being with London Society and getting mentoring from those guys as well as other people in society who might not have refereed at that. I think there's a lot of experience and wisdom there that's got a bit that we are very grateful for as referees. So my job is to be at the head of the society representing what they do and what we're trying to achieve in, in rugby which is really all about the development uh, of referees at all levels. So it's not just about the high flyers that you see today, 
It's all about making sure we give everybody in, in the society the opportunity to do the best game they're capable of doing. The London Society uh, is very fortunate to be sponsored by um, Standard Chartered and that sponsorship is all about developing referees in the markets in which we operate. So Korea, Singapore, Hong Kong, Uganda, uh, India. And we're building links to all those markets where we bring referees in from those markets to London to give them opportunities to referee uh, around London and equally to send referees, coaches and assessors out to those markets to help them develop their rugby. We've sent referees to India, to South Africa, to Dubai, and these are the kind of trips that we wouldn't be able to do without the resources that Standard Chartered provide. In addition to that, we help them uh, both provide free resources to our referees, so referees get um, kit, which is sponsored kit, and also subsidise other elements of kit for referees. So we're, we're trying to help out all referees at all levels. Finally, we invest in technology, and one of the key things that we do with that is provide uh, communications devices that either help referees work with other referees on the pitch or help our uh, people who watch referees and developing them through watching them and giving them feedback help them to understand what the referees for example are saying have them videoed that kind of thing and Standard Chartered's funds contribute to that as well. referee you don't have a game. It's absolutely crucial. I mean London Society uh, for years have given us excellent service, really good standards of referees. We've always been delighted with what they've done for us. Within London Society there is, there is a, a channel, there is um, a sort of process that you can go through and a progression that you go through. You've got some great people that are really willing to help and want to help you as well. We're very lucky in London that we've got such a high quality of officials, you know, some of the, uh, the best seven referees in the world. Um, so some top quality officials on show. And year in, year out, um, you can guarantee that they will uh, be able to hold their heads up high and make sure that people are talking about the rugby and not about the officials.